Congratulations on purchasing an Aqua One Aquarium. If you've chosen this chapter, you have either an Aquastar 620, 620T, 850, Aquastar 980 or the 980T. These models have very similar Aqua One filter systems, so the setup procedures are exactly the same. Great for almost any location, in the home or office. I'll now take you through the complete aquarium setup. Make sure you place the aquarium on a flat, level surface, strong enough to easily support its weight when filled with water and any decorative rocks. If you set the aquarium up on an uneven surface, it might crack. We recommend an Aqua One cabinet designed just for your aqua style, but these versatile aquariums will also go perfectly on a sturdy, well-supported cabinet or bench top. Once you've decided on a location, Unwrap the aquarium and place it in your desired position. When you remove the aquarium from the packaging, inspect it and the equipment carefully. If you see any signs of damage from transit, contact the store you purchased it from. Remove the light hood from the aquarium body. First, we'll set up the Aquastar filter system. Open the filter lids and set them aside. Inside the filter unit will be the entire components needed to assemble the filter. Remove all the contents of the filter and make sure you have an outlet piece and extension tube, a power head, a spray bar, a carbon cartridge with filter wall, black sponges, intake pipe, intake strainer, elbow piping, ceramic noodles and filter baskets. Remove the ceramic noodles from the plastic bag and place in filter baskets. Rinse them thoroughly to remove any excess dust or debris. These noodles are your biological media, which will grow healthy bacteria to break down the waste from your fish. Make sure you give the carbon cartridge and the black sponge a good wash to remove any excess dust or particles. Place the black sponge in the filter and the carbon cartridge with filter wool on top. The carbon is the chemical filtration which takes many of the pollutants out of the water, leaving it crystal clear. Just remember, this is the last time that untreated tap water should touch your filter. Once you have the aquarium running, you must always rinse the filter in aquarium water only. Next, take the outlet nozzle and if you wish, connect the extension pipe to it and attach it like so to the right hand side under the filter. This will let the water return from the top through each layer back into the tank. Then attach the connector to the top of the power head and then attach the intake pipe into the base. Connect the intake pipe to the strainer. This is very important to prevent any large objects being sucked into the pump, especially your favourite fish. Now slide the power head onto the bottom of the filter, making sure the holes line up to the elbow piping. Attach the long piece of the elbow pipe into the hole at the top of the power head. Next, take the spray bar and place it along the filter, making sure the small holes are facing down into the filter. Attach the open end of the spray bar to the elbow piece several centimetres into the pipe Now you're ready to place the filter unit on the aquarium. Position it towards the rear of the aquarium with the inlet pipe on the left hand side. Put into position the filter lids to complete your filter setup. Put the light unit on the front of the aquarium and pass the light cord through the channel at the rear of the filter. Your aquarium is now complete. 
Take this opportunity to check the position of the aquarium and reassure yourself where you wish to enjoy your Aqua One, as the aquarium becomes very heavy when the water and decorations are added. Start by placing your rinsed gravel at the base of the aquarium. Unless you're planning to grow live plants, it's recommended you keep gravel to a minimum. Gravel is a better aquarium substrate than pebbles because the large pebble size allows excess food waste to fall through the grains and build up on the bottom of the aquarium, then it rots. Gravel is finer and allows excess food and waste to land on the surface where it can be consumed by scavenging fish keeping your aquarium much healthier. Now you can gently fill your aquarium with water. The water level should not be filled all the way to the top to ensure your aquarium doesn't overflow once you add the fish and the ornaments. Position your thermometer and heater if required. The thermometer should always be placed at the opposite end of the tank to the heater for the most accurate readings. Next, place in any plastic plants and ornamental decorations. Aqua One has an extensive range of creative decorations to suit any aquarium style, which are a perfect refuge for your fish and create a lot of interest in your aquarium. Aqua One also has a massive range of plastic plants and copy corals that add colour and beauty. Any synthetic ornaments and plants should be rinsed in tap water before putting in the tank. Also available is a large range of Aqua One aquarium backgrounds which can neaten up and enhance the look of your aquarium. Next, put in your air stones and connect the air line to the air pump. If you can, try to place your air pump above the water level of the aquarium. If you're placing the air pump below the water level of the tank, make sure to use an Aqua One check valve. If the pump is turned off and you do not have a check valve, it is possible for water to siphon back down the tube and may damage your pump, which is not covered by the guarantee. Every electrical cord should have a drip loop to stop water running down the cord from the tank into the equipment or electrical power outlet. Remember to add Aqua One water conditioner to your water to remove chlorine, heavy metals and other chemicals which will damage your filter and could harm your fish. Use the directions on the bottle to work out how much water conditioner to add to your water. With water conditioner, it's always better to overdose than to underdose. Next, plug in the heater, air pump and filter power head and switch them on. Close the lid and turn on the light. Before adding the fish, double check each item is working properly. Check the heater light is on if the water is under 25 degrees and that bubbles are coming out of the air stone. For the filtration, observe that water is being passed through the filter smoothly and it's not spraying or leaking out of the tank. Double check that the spray bar is pointing down. Your aquarium is now ready for a few small fish. However, it's safer to run your aquarium for at least three days before introducing them to your system. Oh, and if you've got a salt water set up, it may take a little longer. So it's best to ask your local Aqua One dealer or grab a copy of the DVD, Your Instructional Marine Aquarium Guide. Take a few minutes to check out the other important chapters. They'll cover maintenance and care of your new aquarium. Enjoy.